Okay, we're here in the backyard at 4620 Kivara Drive. It has views. They're decent. They're not wonderful. They're not like your house. I don't know how far back that property line goes. The pool obviously is a problem. They've added on this little patio right here. I don't know how well it's built. And uh, also going over here, you can hear road noise. So don't know where the property line is. I'm going to presume over here it probably goes down to the road over there. Let me go back inside. This house basically is going to need everything. Got all this big glass, basically everything single pane in here. You walk in, it looks like a mid-century modern here. Kitchen of copper tone. Shades of copper tone. I've owned copper tone appliances. A little laundry room, which is nice. Garage, a little workshop area there. I don't know how big the lot is. This is all carpeted here, which is a little weird. And I've These are all the ages that have gone on by. They don't have a sign out yet, out front. Fireplace. Oh boy, look at all this stuff from years and years and years ago. But look at that, a pull-down <laughs> a pull-down radio or a record player. Okay, let's walk back over this way. Got a bedroom here, pretty good size. Big window, everything single pane, intercom. All high end at one time. Oh, there we go. The bathroom here with a, with a wall hung toilet. You don't see those very often. Good old. Yeah, interesting. All right, let's go on down here and we'll. Looks like a nice solid house. I don't see much in the way of cracking or anything. Nice big master. Master has a big uh, sliding glass door. Your views obviously are out that direction. I'd probably trim some of those trees there so it doesn't block it. I just don't know how far back. We got a little dinky closet here. A walk in over here, good size. It's blocked by the entry door, which is a little strange, but has a pocket door there. It has an okay size. So once again, another wall hung toilet and a door to the outside. Okay. And Let's see what else we can look at in here. I think this is pretty much it. Except for the living room, which is in the front here. Pretty good size. All right. Obviously get a lot of sun over here, which is why they have the screen on it. There's a nice circular driveway out front. Okay, I'm gonna stop this for a second and go out in the front. Okay, once again, now we're out front. One thing I do not like here is the fact that the road is about three feet higher than the house. And this isn't paved, but that's a distinct problem. When the day comes that we have rain again, you know, this all needs to be graded in a way that the water can run off the side. It has what appears to be a 
circular driveway. Don't know that anybody uses it. Plenty of parking over here. You can park an RV without a problem. I don't think there's an HOA here. House only has views really in the back. It appears to be a, a well, you know, for its time, a well-made, well-built home. Not much in the way of insulation. Let's walk on over and see if we can spot any cracking. Okay, let's look at the corners. Usually that's where you're going to have issues with these old buildings right in here. Looks nice and tight. I don't see any evidence of cracking in the foundation, so they must have done a pretty good job. It's all been parge coated, but I don't see any cracking. Let's walk around over here. I don't know what all this, these rocks are here, but there's a cairn of rocks here and one there. I have no idea what that's all about. And let's take a look here. Once again, minor cracking. And some more rocks here. There's a gate here so you can go into the back along the side. Okay. 